Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I am at the MREA Energy Fair in Custer, Wisconsin, and back behind me is an electric motorcycle built by Ryland Erdman of Black Box Bikes. I thought, let's go over, say hi, and uh, ask him a few questions about his system here. So this is the electric motorcycle that I designed and built using mostly off-the-shelf uh, golf cart parts. The golf cart drivetrains are really simple and durable. And then went with uh, five kilowatt hours of lithium batteries, um, 48 volts. Um, and that, at that voltage, I get about a 60 mile an hour top speed and about a 50 mile range. I have an example of a neighborhood electric vehicle motor sitting over there um, that if you wanted to race, that would be an adequate motor for going whatever unsafe speed you feel is reasonable. <laughs> yeah, my target was to, to uh, build something that was fun and, and uh, utilitarian uh, with the options of being able to upgrade it. With using golf cart parts, there's enough documentation out there that you're not reinventing the wheel. You find a di wiring diagram for how to use a golf cart speed controller. Uh, that'll get you 95% of the way there, so you know. No need to be a electrical engineer or a rocket scientist. A lot of those off-the-shelf parts are designed for the or intended for the average person to be able to use them and understand them. And starting out with the battery pack, that's going through. Uh, this is one example of uh, one of the cells in the battery pack. So there's 16 of these 100 amp hour 3.4 volt cells. Uh, so those are lined up in the in the battery pack. Uh, 16 of those, 112 pounds, um, wired in series. Uh, those then go to main contactor that when you turn the key on, that closes that relay and powers up the speed controller. The speed controller then is connected to the electric motor. Electric motor is bolted onto the uh, uh, motor adapter that I designed. That bolts onto the frame um, in the same manner as the uh, gas engine did. The output of that mimics the uh, transmission's output shaft and that connects on to the drive shaft that's in the swing arm. Uh, with, a, with the stock gear reduction uh, that the motorcycle had when it was new. Um, so utilizing a lot of the stock parts that came on the motorcycle new and um, the golf cart drivetrain, um, it's almost as if the engineers had gotten together and decided this all would work together 30 years later. So a lot of people, you know, want to make their gas tank usable still as an electric motorcycle. Um, with motorcycles over the years, the gas, metal gas tanks sometimes rust out, so there's demand for um, used metal gas tank so instead of cutting apart the perfectly good metal gas tank that I bought that came with the motorcycle when I bought it um, vacuum formed uh, a copy of a plastic gas tank so if you wanted to put a cup holder in there or have your charging cord come out of there or just uh, save weight and recoup some of your conversion costs used gas tanks sell for one to two hundred dollars um, on eBay and a $20 plastic copy is lighter and versatile for using on an electric motorcycle. Um, and, and that's literally just a sheet of plastic. It's a sheet of plastic, vacuum formed. Uh, once it's on the motorcycle, it's almost as rigid as the steel one um, because it's that rounded shape, a few ounces. Um, the, the steel gas tank probably weighs a pound and a half, two pounds. Um, so you're saving a little bit of weight, but you're also more flexibility in your design options uh, with the plastic gas tank, on top of not having to have a, have a uh, fuel cap. One of the things that uh, really surprised me um, in riding an electric motorcycle is just how polite everybody is to motorcycles that are quiet. Um, other drivers stay calm and are polite and treat you like a normal vehicle. It feels like a really safe motorcycle. Um, well, what about like uh, contact info? If people want to learn more about your, your system, especially uh, as, as sort of a kit, yep. these types of components here, how would people find out more um, about that? I've made up a batch of these uh, motor adapters to have for sale. Um, 
bolts onto the frame with three bolts, onto the motor with four more. Um, and I have those for sale uh, for the first time here at the Energy Fair. Um, and I'll have those online um, hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, my website's blackboxbikes.com, but I should have that updated uh, pretty soon with those for sale. Um, otherwise, if you're looking at that and not, uh, not seeing them for sale, you can contact me directly. Uh, contact information's on there. And uh, probably one other thing that Ryland didn't mention is, where'd you get the idea for working on an electric motorcycle? Uh, it was here about uh, seven or eight years ago. I, I a saw. Few years back, yeah. I, I met Ben Nelson and was like, <laughs> "Hey, you're the guy from the internet with that electric motorcycle that I read about." Except you did yours better because you went straight to lithium right away, whereas mine yep. was originally lead acid. So. And uh, at the time, I think I had uh, five gasoline motorcycles sitting at home. Took an electric motorcycle for the ri a ride the first time and uh, realized it was more fun than any motorcycle I already had and that I had to have one. Uh, whereas uh, I, I'd never done any motorcycle riding before, I just went uh, straight to electric. Uh, Ryland already, you had a bunch of experience with motorcycles, yep. which I never did. So, I mean, uh, you know, takes all types, but uh, electric motorcycles are very doable as a do-it-yourself project. And if you want to do uh, kind of more of a kit setup, uh, check out what uh, Ryland's been working on at Black Box Bikes. Yep. And until next time, stay charged up.